Cancer, welcome to your money and career reading for the remainder of March moving into April. I'm Robin Carlion from Raw Tarot and thank you for visiting my channel. This is a 10 card reading starting with the situational energy. Oh, oh, okay. You have two cards here. Oh, very good. The Chariot. The Chariot is one of the best cards that you can receive in the deck. This is career advancement. This is joy. This is success. And then you have the Queen of Cups. And the Queen of Cups, this is talking about trusting your intuition. This queen is trust and deep knowing. Deep knowing that you are guided in the right path and you are on the right path. So trusting, trusting your gut, trusting your intuition, trusting the guidance that you receive. It doesn't always have to make sense, okay? Everything doesn't all have to fall into place, especially now as we are in such a big, huge shift that's going on right now. We have the beginning of spring coming up soon. So that is big cycles are ending and big new cycles are beginning. So allow those shifts, recognize those shifts. I know that it can not be easy at times going through these big shifts, but hold tight and believe, keep working, keep taking those baby steps to keep taking those leaps of faith. All right. Wow. There's a lot of energy that wants to come out here. I'm looking for the second placement spirit for cancer. What could be challenging? What could be challenging for cancer this month? Okay, all right. So the wheel of fortune, the wheel of fortune. Right now, cancer, what I'm feeling is it's like there's a disbelief. There's a disbelief that this could happen. And, oh, it, it, it can. This here showing up as the challenge means that there's tweaks, there's mindset shifts. And, and like I said, how going through um, shifts and things that are falling apart, but are really falling into place, things that are ending, you have no control over, but things that are beginning, that are coming up, that you may not have even seen or thought of yet, but there are things that are going to happen for you cancer that is going to bring this and this coming up as a challenge I really feel like it's some sort of mindset like you don't believe that it's going to come up yet now here you have for your belief energy this here is the three of pentacles this is talking about like-minded people surrounding yourself with the like-minded people but also this is your community the community the co-workers the people that you collaborate with the partners in business the partners in your finance there are people out there that are ready and willing to help you there is um it, it, it's it's finding those right people, talking to those right people, feeling that intuitiveness with those people. This is fantastic. So the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups, this is success. This is happiness. This is everything is working out. And this is the root of the reading, okay? So this root of the reading, this is what you're looking for, absolutely. There is all of this joy, all of this harmony, all of this prosperity it's very very good energy and this energy is here for you mm, it's exciting like how i feel and how i look at this and how i recognize that there's lots of shifts that are going on right now but to um keep persevering keep showing up um keep leaving 
Now, this one here is the Page of Swords. This is the present energy. The present energy, this is this is you being able to cut through the old energy. This page is all about new things. So that's new communication, new mindset, uh, new ways of thinking and like new perceptions, but also being open, being open to receive, being open to visualization. Okay. So visualization, really, really big part of what's happening right now. Also age of Aquarius. So age of Aquarius, it's an air energy. So always remember that the age of Aquarius like I said, air energy, there's the throat chakra, the third eye chakra, and the crown chakra. These are all connected. There's that connectivity with them. So really focus on utilizing all of this for as you move forward in every single aspect of your life, especially money and career. So for your future, ooh, so good. So good. I love to see this card. This is the five of swords and this is about shifting. All fives are about shifting and moving up into a higher level. Okay. So higher vibrational level. This one here is saying that you are doing the work and you're letting go of people, places, and things. You're letting go of old mindsets that are not working for you and you're shifting higher, which means higher vibration, receiving higher vibe energy back towards you, which is exactly what you want cancer. Now, for your internal, let's see. Ooh, this is great. So this is a major arcana. Major arcana is the judgment. And if you see in this card here, there are people that are dancing around, they're celebrating, and there is an angel, there is a higher being that is trumpeting, that is playing the music, that is celebrating. So knowing that when you're doing your work, when you're honoring yourself, when you're being loyal to yourself, first and foremost, everything is you, you, you. Focus on your mindset, on your success, on everything that you are doing. And this is what you will receive is you will have all of the energy around you. Very, very abundant, very, very much celebrating you. That's awesome. I love that. Ooh, okay. Oh my goodness. There's four here. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness. There's such a contrast here. So with these ones, I'll show you. You have the 10 of pentacles, which is fantastic energy. And then you have the seven, the seven of pentacles. And remember 2023 equals seven. So this here waiting for your harvest, there is that patience then. So these are here like super amazing, positive, amazing prosperity. Wealth is coming to you. Remember this is external. So this is what's around you. Then you have the five, another shifting card, the five of pentacles. And then you also have the nine of swords. The nine of swords is representing that your sleepless nights, your worries are coming to an end. The nine always represents that things are coming to fruition. They are coming to the end of the cycle, which is absolutely beautiful. So these ones could be seen as like these things are moving out. So this one here being left out in the cold, this is a five. So five shifting, shifting into higher energy. Now with this, the pentacle energy, that is money. It's prosperity. It's your foundation and it's how you bring things and attract things to you. So this is fantastic that this is on the way out externally what is around you. And then you have this coming in, which is be patient. Your harvest is coming. 
And there is that full, beautiful completion card, the Ten of Pentacles, which is so lush with prosperity, with wealth with abundance. This is gorgeous. And um, yeah, like big time receiving. It's so full. There's so much fulfillment here. Okay. So now for your hopes, oops, hopes and dreams, <laughs> hopes and dreams is make that decision. This is the two of swords with making that decision. We all are faced with the things that we have dealt with and the things that are coming up for us and that we really want to focus on. So Cancer, focusing on all of the positives, focusing on that healthy, abundant mindset of visualizing all of these amazing, great things that are going to be happening for you and you believe that and leave all of that old energy behind. Leave it behind, don't look back and move forward. Now for your completion for the 10th card here. Let's see what you receive for the 10th placement rather. You have two. Oh my goodness. This is lovely. So you have the nine of pentacles here, nine of pentacles. And up here, there is that bird and that bird representing freedom, but also seeing that all of those pentacles at the bottom those are representing that these pentacles are so close. They are sticking to you. And I always joke that these pentacles, they're like static cling. So usually when you have static cling, you like trying to get rid of it. You don't want to. You do not want to get rid of this static cling. It's so abundant. It's stuck to you. So this is your completion that you are attracting, that there is so much abundance, that there is that freedom. That's really beautiful going into, um, into that spring energy. Gorgeous. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, the Knight of Wands. And this is the first time that you have that fire. What is really, really important about this is that we are moving into the fire energy. So when we start that new astrological cycle, starting with Aries, starting with the spring energy, the Aries fire element is what is taking us there and what is breathing new life, new energy, really igniting yourself, your inner self, your flame within and really taking charge. And that is exactly what this person in this card is doing. This is the energy that you want. You want to charge forward. You want to ignite that flame within and you want to go full on in that new energy, all of this new life that is starting in your money and career reading for March moving into April. I thank you so much for showing up for yourself. I thank you for showing up and listening to me. And I thank you so much for all of your support for my channel. I love you all. Mwah.